What is freedom? Are we born free or do we earn it? And if you deny freedom to the quiet ones, those who have no voice, can you be free yourself? Or are you caged by your own lack of compassion? My name is Charlie Cranehill. You'll read about me in the news. See pictures of me with the word terrorist after my name. They say freedom isn't free. Absolutely goddamn right. We spend our lives saying no. Not me. Not my fight. Not my problem. Not tonight. What's the difference between you and me? A few years ago, I became someone who said yes. Me. My fight. My problem. Tonight. Shit, I forgot to tell you, Nicole called. What? When? You are in the shower. She's got a new number. Put it on the wall. Hi, Dad. Charlie, where are you? Riley's. God damn it, Charlie. If you want to blow off the rest of your life. Messing around with that girl, that's fine. I'm not blowing off my life. But if I set up an appointment for you. You goddamn well better be there. Charlie, you should be on the highway right now. I'll be there. That girl it's is. Riley. Where are you going? Some job interview. Some job? Brenda has it's some business thing. Okay, some business thing? Holy fuck, are you serious? Can we just eat breakfast? He makes you ugly, Charlie. He makes you mean. This is me, Riley. If you don't like it, I'll leave. That would be easy. Why don't you try doing something hard? All your talk of animal liberation and how it's like the civil rights movement <coughs> or women's suffrage or it slavery. Is. Okay. Are you willing to break the law with me? Nicole's organized an action. What kind of action? Breaking into the university labs and liberating the animals tonight. Or you can go to your interview for some business thing. the appointment. Well, you certainly blew that one, didn't you? Hey, Charlie, if you think I'm ever going to stick my neck out for you again... I don't. I love you, Dad. You need to let go. I have never forced anything on you. Yeah. Have a good night.
This is my team. The government would call them my cell. But cells are cages, and we are free. Our mission is simple. Liberate animals from places of abuse. Inflict economic damage on those who profit from their misery and exploitation. Reveal those atrocities to the public. Never harm anyone, human or non-human. Follow these rules, and you are a member of the Animal Liberation Front. Good, man. Good to hey, see babe, you. Charlie's here. Okay, so what do you got for me? The red tape is footage from the Liberation, and the rest are our recon from our guy on the inside. Make sure they're breathing. All right. You can see that they stop breathing, start like. Give it a mouth. Whack. You gotta wake up. Good boy, Wolf. Yes. Boy. We'll cut it together first thing in the morning and get out there communicating. There are some people here to see you with badges. Badges? Yes. Really? Okay. Tell them I'll be there in just a moment. Hello, Mr. Cranehill. I'm Agent Tamar Burke. This is my partner, Eric Johnson. We're here about Charlie. What about him? Is he okay? Do you know where he is? Sir, have you ever heard of the Bold Native? The Bold Native is an alias for a terrorist or terrorist group responsible for a series of attacks costing almost a million dollars. Terrorist attacks? Medical labs, farms, all animal-related businesses. Part of a loosely organized group called the Animal Liberation Front, or the ALF. This is a letter claiming responsibility for the arson of a poultry farm in Ohio. This is a letter from your son to one of his friends. Some of the expressions match almost word for word. This is a journal that we believe to be Charlie's. And on this last page, it shows a farm that was hit by arson. Here's a photograph of your son with Jeff Breen. Who the fuck is Jeff? They nabbed him. Why you said one guard on break from 12 to 12.10? There's always just one guard. Come on! I think he's gonna talk. Jeff Breen connected a lot of dots for us. He does hate your guts, Charlie. What did I do? You were with Charlie, weren't you? Yeah, he was skull-fucking me like Indiana Jones. You should have been there, Jeff. I'm kidding. I'm obviously fucking around. I just want you to answer the question, Sonia. Jeff, Charlie's my best friend. He's been my best yeah. friend since we were like 12 years old. You know this. Well, that's You've known great. this since we started dating. I don't even know why it's a big deal. Well, where were you guys? Can you keep a secret? You have to run. Wyatt, pull over. What the fuck? Pull what am I supposed over, to Wyatt. do without you? You'll be fine. Dream on, Castaneda! My head's gonna go out your nose! Hey! Sweet. You brought him in! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jellybean. It's not your fault. Yes, it is. I mean, it's a bad idea. I love you. I believe in you. Okay, I will be back.
The bald native has been quiet for almost two years. It's been four years or five since you last heard from Charlie. I can't answer any more of your questions without an attorney present, so if you would like to uh, make an like appointment... I would like to have a look around. I don't think that's possible. Mr. Cranehill, search warrant. Thank you. I'll start with the back. Nice guitar. It's a little dusty, but... You know, you... You can take whatever you want. I want to know what kind of research you did for the Happy Chickens ad campaign. What? Happy Chickens. You are the Carl Hansen that designed that campaign for the egg industry. Our, our client was the state ag board. Same thing. You know, I'm... I, I'm, I'm sorry, I think... Whew. Feeling a little drunk. Want to sit down? Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. I just want to talk. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. I'm gonna go. I cooperate right here. Sit. Have a chat. Okay. Okay. Sit on your hands. What? Sit on your hands. Okay. Comfy. You're an animal rights person. We're all animal rights people. It just depends on what your definition of animal is. For instance, I think that you have a right to get married, unlike your parents. What do you know about my parents? I know more than Bob does. Like the fact that they're still alive. You are very interesting, Carl. I am. You are. How do you breathe? 
living in such a cage. I, I don't know what you are talking about. Are you an ex-gay in recovery? Conversion therapy for unwanted same gender attraction? God, that must have sucked. It was fine. No, that's not fine. You got out, you said thanks mom and dad for saving me. It made them happy, it didn't hurt anyone. Both you and I know your boyfriend wouldn't stand for that bullshit. It was just easier to tell him that they were dead. Hiding mail, watching the phone, lies about business trips when you're just going to go see your parents. Almost as much work as carrying on an affair, which you also happened to pull off. Unfortunate, it was with an intern. Okay, what do you want? I want the money that you were paid for that happy chicken's bullshit. $82,652. You can use that computer to transfer the money through a network we've set up. I'm a vegetarian, you know. I do know that, why is that? I like animals, I don't want to eat them. Eat eggs? Free range, organic. You know they kill all the male chicks? Even with free ranch hens. They're too skinny to eat because they're different than genetically modified birds we call broilers. The males are useless. So we feed them through a chipper still chirping for their moms. I didn't know that. Most people would be upset by that. Just like most people would be upset if they were forced to see the way that chickens are treated in general. That's why Happy Chickens is a cartoon, not footage like what we're watching, which is reality and not very happy. So what are you gonna do with the money if I give it to you? We break into places like that and liberate animals. The money buys equipment, buys food for the animals we rescue. They're all sick. Most of them need medical attention the rest of their lives. That couch costs three grand. I was considering swallowing a bottle of Ativan and lying down on it tonight. Okay. Right now, I really need you to tell me that you believe that things can change. Yeah, I believe that things can change. Okay. Then I'll give you the money. But only if you take me. It's more like what he said to me. <laughs> Listen, I think he's sincere, but he may just be drunk and I may just be hopeful. Ah, romance. I'm serious. He goes, Judas, it's your ass down the rabbit hole. My bad call on Jeff got you where you are, so the worst case is we're even. But I trust you all the way to the end. Attack kit, actually. So, Carl, you can call me Sonia. Is that a code name? Yeah, it was a toss up between that and fuck you, what the hell are you doing here? I like Sonia better. Yeah, me too. Right now. We're also encouraging you to begin frequent audits of cattle slaughterhouses as practiced by McDonald's. That should ensure that the captive old gun usage is rendering the animal unconscious before slaughter.
We'd like to end our protests. And as I'm sure you'd like to see them end as well, I'm hoping we can find some common ground. Our first request is that you consider matching some of the commitments made by the other fast food chains. Now, which ones are those? Requiring 72 square inches per hen in battery cages. Stopping forced molting. Forced molting? Withholding food and water to speed the laying process. Where are the numbers on the economic impact? Page 22. We're also looking at a gradual shift to cage-free eggs. Our research shows a shortfall in supply there. Change takes time, so we're looking at 5% by the end of the year. That should send a strong message to your customers about your commitment to humane practices. Hello? Sorry, I'm late. Sanders? Hi, I'm Jack Sanders. Jane Harold. Please, continue. Phasing out gestation crates for breeding pigs. Beginning with a commitment to purchase 20% of pork from gestation crate-free producers by the end of this year. I was raised in the farm. Do you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah? Missouri. Phil, do you know that? Yes, sir. <laughs> I did. Our last commitment is more symbolic. A stated preference for poultry producers who use controlled atmosphere killing. The current practice of live shackling and electric stunning reduces meat quality and yield through routine broken bones, bruising, and hemorrhaging. Controlled atmosphere killing allows the birds to remain in their transport container where they're exposed to non-poisonous gases that cause anoxia. And it's also much easier on the slaughterhouse workers. There are significant costs involved in switching over. Actually, because of decreased contamination, carcass downgrades, labor costs, and other factors we've discussed, most studies indicate an increase in revenue over a period of a year. There are details on page 34 for your reference. And like I said, this is a purely non-binding preference statement. That's the last issue, right? We're also encouraging you to begin frequent audits of cattle slaughterhouses as practiced by McDonald's. This would ensure that the captive bolt gun usage is consistently rendering the animal unconscious before slaughter. Cows were my favorite animal when I was a boy. Marvelous creatures. Yes, they are. Miss Harold, you seem to be a very reasonable individual. I appreciate the presentation, but unfortunately, I have a plane to catch. It's been an absolute pleasure to meet you. Sanders. Mr. Sanders, you have an opportunity here to take additional steps that would put you in the forefront of the industry and would ensure that we won't be meeting again in a year or two so that you can catch up. Young lady, this company does not take its orders from a protest group who wants to turn our customers into vegetarians. We are here to work with you. But you'd much rather put us out of business, wouldn't you? I would much rather that if people are going to eat animals, that those animals experience as little suffering as possible. We can agree on that, can't we? That, Miss Harold, we can agree on. Have a good day. I want people who have had these kind of cases before, people who know the system. Thanks, Evan. And Frank, I want the best. Fly them in here as soon as possible. I don't care what it costs. Just get it done. Charlie! Come on! Earthquake! Come on, sunshine. Get up. What the fuck is that? It was in my, uh... My kit, you know, it's like a like like... emergency thermal blanket thing. From really? The, from wow. The... What? It's warm. It's warm. <laughs> wow. This is Kyle's blanket. This is Kyle's blanket. How <laughs> do What is alleged here by the government is that your son engaged in arson, vandalism, and theft dealing with animal enterprises. That comes squarely within the four corners of the Animal Enterprise Terrorism Act. The uh, Animal what? Enterprise no. Terrorism, Terrorism Act. Act. Okay. The act targets animal activists. Ultimately, it wants to silence them and to actually put them away for a long time. They've taken property crimes and have labeled them as terrorism as it relates to an animal enterprise. Pharmaceutical industry, the meat industry, they're big business. They banded together and asked for this legislation, lobbied for this legislation, and they were very successful. Legislators are not coming up with terrorism laws for right-wing extremists. Anti-government, anti-abortion, and white supremacy 
supremacist groups who have either killed or injured people are not on the terrorism list. These industries can get protection by convincing the government that, you know, this is really domestic terrorism. The penalties have increased exponentially. Each different company could be a separate act of animal terrorism. If you have four or five different companies, your son could face life imprisonment. Richard doesn't know where his son is. Should his son contact him? let's say hypothetically. Your phone conversations and everything you do is probably being monitored right now. It's important to really look towards turning himself in. You know, he can only run so long. Eventually, they're gonna find him. Frank, I should have never stopped looking for him. Do you have any idea where to find him? He was living with a girl in Cedarville a couple years ago. Well, for what it's worth, I doubt they expect you to go looking for him. I could drop you off on the other side of the lake. They wouldn't know about it until we got back. What makes you think I can find him when they can't? I don't. I do know what you're going to go through if something happens to him and you didn't even try. I mean, you wouldn't be able to access any of your bank accounts, call anybody you know, not your office, not me, nobody. You'd have to disappear there, Richard. If I'm not on this boat when you pull in... Why don't you let me worry about that, all right? I don't know if you remember, but uh, we lobbied for that Animal Enterprise Terrorism Act. If Charlie's arrested as a terrorist, they can pretty much do anything they want to him. Richard. You deserve to see your son alive and free again before you die. Yeah, not too short, my leg. I got you, I got you, no worries, man. So you really, really want to go underground? You should get rid of this emo cut. And uh, <laughs> check this out here. Click these on. Oh, Malik, Malik. You're looking like my main man, Thailand, over there. You see him right there? That's how you're going to look, just like my man T. He is killing the game right now. You need some game, too, so. I didn't even really come in here for a haircut. So if you didn't come for a haircut, then what'd you come for? We're trying to go national with this thing. National. You think you can handle this region? I'm pretty well connected. I got a couple of people. You trust them? I trust those people about just as much as you trust him. Who's he? Who is he? Who is that guy? Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm Carl. Uh, I need to rent some some surfing stuff. Wetsuit for sure. Probably will need a uh, a towel too. You know, can I get that sticker too? The shark one there. There's sharks out there. It's a baby shark. He's mean, though. Look at that. Professor Strathern? Charlie Cranehill. As I live and breathe, I never thought I'd see you out here today. I've been recovering. Three years in recovery, huh? We weren't that drunk, were we? You know, I don't remember. <laughs> Back for more education, Charlie? I got a killer class this year. The American Empire and the fall of D.C. I was the optimist. All that terrorist noise is nothing but a profitable distraction. But the real war, Charlie, will be between the people and the multinational corporations. You mark my words. Well, until then, you interested in a little frontline action? People make noise. Our body letting come with a voice for nothing. We got a choice. We're running from the sound inside. Professor on board? He's on board. Meet 
go. So what's the plan? What are we up to? I've been waiting to show you my little <laughs> shark contribution. <laughs> <laughs> I've named him Carl Jr. That's appropriate. Yeah, nice. don't you think? Yeah. Well, we got a long road ahead of us. Yo, what up, man? <laughs> I'm feeling really friendly. Okay. I'm feeling so... Here's another okay. friend. Hey, guy, how you doing? Oh, he didn't care. Hey, guys, what's up? Have fun down there. <laughs> oh, oh, God. No. <laughs> Keep it going, girl. It was a nice wheelie, man. What's up? You know, people want to be talked to. People want to be acknowledged, right? Hey, guys, happy Friday. Thank you. Whenever you're afraid to talk to someone, just remember, people want to be talked to. What am I, a robot? And that's good in advertising, that's good in business, that's everything. It's just up the road, right? It's a ways from here, but it's north, yeah. How far away is Cedarville? It's about three, four hours. If I signed a contract with you, say for $5,000, would you drive me up there? I brought a guy in once like you. He's the reason why Charlie was underground for two years. He loved this cause, and he really loved me, I think. So, it just doesn't always work out. Why are you here, Carl? I'm here because I want to be here. You can face up to decades if you get caught. You will be prosecuted as a terrorist. Do you know that? Carl, if you want to leave this, no one's gonna blame you. But you can't do this for you. you. Just can't do it for you. I'm taking the jump into the deep end. All right, let's see if you can swim. I can swim. Do you know I was the most improved backstroke when I was like 10 years old? I'm fucking serious. The beginning of the summer I was slow as shit. By the end of the summer I won like this little trophy like most improved backstroke. I just have to put my mind to something. When I put, when I, when, when I put my energy in the right arena... He just has to put his mind to I animal just, liberation and it will happen. I... will just put his mind to it's it. It's about will. <laughs> I heard you're looking for a ride. I am, yes. You big ass? My name's Irock, man. Nice to meet you. Irock? Like the country? No, not like the country. In fact, the last time I looked, I was nothing like a country. I have been Irock for years, like years before any of that shit went down. Rock steady, rock hard, rock out. I rock. I get it. So what's your name? Richard. This is Richard. We're going on a road trip. Hi. I'm Sean. Sure. I'm uh, Richard. That's a self-portrait done with my friend. Uh, he uh, OD'd when he was 25, and 
that was painted after that. That's my son. That was the first time he painted from a model when he was 16. Do you have kids? Yeah, I do. So, uh, is she, like, packing a bag or something? I don't know. I rock. I rock. No, I rock. Where are you? We taking this? Almost ready. Come on, let's go. What else do we need? You need anything? No. to get in to get the fuck off my property territory. You ever seen a baby calf taken away from its mother? No. All these cows have had their children taken away from them several times. Usually they have been about 24 hours after birth. Then they're hooked up to machines twice a day for months, and we suck out the milk that they were producing for their stolen children. The boys become veal calves. The girls are raised in crates until they're ready to birth themselves. And after six or seven years, when they're completely worn out and broken down from life as a milk machine, they limp up a ramp and are led to slaughter. I drink organic milk. That means they get organic feed, but the process is still the same. What do you think, Carl? You getting any new ideas for happy animal campaigns? Let's go. Got some trouble to start. Yeah, we do. Shit. Double or nothing? Playing me? Just lucky, I guess. That's no good, I see. Charlie Crane Hill. Do you want to play? Do you? I don't think so. But I got some action you might be into. What kind of action are we talking about? How many actions? Dozens. On the same day? That's right. Hell yeah. Get up! Oh, okay. What the fuck was that, man? I thought it was our best take, so I did my little victory dance. Yeah, well, your best take needs to be better, all right? So we're gonna do that all over again. That sounded pretty good to me. What do you do again? Advertising. Sounded good to me too. Charlie, am I gonna have to kick you guys out of here? No, man, I thought that sucked too. Let's do that again, guys. This time with some fucking energy. Daisy, you look like you're stoned. I mean, seriously, let's just like get our shit together here. I thought you wanted to whip these guys into shape. Um, I think I can handle it. Actually, we're hoping you can help us handle some other unruly beasts. So here's the rules. You get to pick the tattoo, I get to pick where it goes. What kind of tattoo would you like? Uh, how about an invisible one? Carl, <laughs> hey. You gotta do this, we all did this. I'll be the guy that doesn't have one. Oh shit, look at you. Oh yeah, man's ruined. That'd be sick. <laughs> I'm not familiar with this here. What up? What up, girl? What's going on with you? Chillin'. You still drive that big rig? Yeah. You down to move some packages for us? What's the destination? New homes? If you see Buddha on the road, liberate him. Is it time? We're now, baby. I have an army of compassion awaiting orders. How many homes are we manifesting? Good many. If we can afford food and medicine. Money man? 
Wake up, doctor. Ah, oh, this better be good, Crane Hill. If by good you mean counting real sheep instead of imaginary ones, then yes, it's good. I assume we're talking the usual? Trauma, injuries, disease. I'll put a team together. Stat. Don't say stat. I can't do arson, Charlie. It's about the liberation. Any damage you can cause to facilities is helpful, but not necessary. I've got a big ball of butyric acid. Where can I get one of those outfits? Commit your life to cheeriness. Fucking A, sign me up. You in? In it, win it. Woo! <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Oh, hey, how you doing? So, I didn't mean to uh, disturb you or anything, you but uh, does Riley live here? Who the fuck is Riley? I don't know who Riley is. Well, uh, so uh, Riley Who's has that? never. Oh, she's with me. Uh, I was just. Tell her I said she's hot. Please leave. Bye. Did you look for clues? Now what? Sorry to bother you again. Is there any way we can come in and just take a look around? You got a warrant? We're not the police. Then you can fuck off. We'll give you the antenna. Oh, well. Did you find any mail when you moved in here? Anything that might tell us about the previous occupant? Some uh, redneck fucktard wrote on the wall. All right. What would you do? I'd tell her... I got her number from a friend. I'm passing through town with a friend, and I need a place to crash. To crash? Yeah, say crash. She's going to take one look at me and know that I don't crash. We'll work on that. What kind of join is this that we're going to? This is an intentional, she said it was an intentional community. I guess they intend to live together rather than accidentally living together. Can I try these on? What? Here's a shirt. It'll work. It'll totally work. Get a sweater, jeans, and a mustache. It said, uh, turn left at the second bridge. You might want to hit the windshield wiper a couple yes, of times. Yes, sir. In a minute. In a minute? Intermittent. <laughs> Intermittent. There. Please. There's the second bridge, That's right there, right there. Bridge number two. Right there. Okay. <laughs> Don't kill this bike. Trespassers will be violated. Huh. Okay. Cool. You must be Richard. I am. This is Iraq. Like the country? No, like she rocks. Got it. Hey, uh, we got a window of opportunity before the rains come back. We could use some help with the sandbags. Yeah, great. You two together? Iraq? <laughs> no. No, we just met. Where are you headed? I'm looking for my son, Charlie Cranehill. You know him? I don't think so. Your phone number was on the wall of Riley's old apartment. I remember Riley. My son is in trouble with the FBI. Don't worry about it. They don't know where I am. I just need to talk to him before anybody gets hurt. So what happens when I tell you to get the hell out of here? Well, I guess I just call the FBI and tell them to come and talk to you. You're not going to get what you want by force, Richard. He's my son. 
Yes. What is it that I'm supposed to do? You're supposed to love him for who he is. Love him for who he is. I do love him. I don't want to go to jail, Charlie. Me either. You're not having coffee with uh, FBI's most wanted. I'm in scram. See, so you brought your yeah. shadow along for the ride. The shadow knows, Peter. Operation Free Range. Simultaneous attacks on factory farms all across the country. Can you give us a minute? He's cool. Have you forgotten everything about security culture? You said you could trust him. I heard that's what you said about Jeff. Fuck you, man. I don't know who Jeff is, but I'm not a Jeff. Factory farms, infrastructure, trucks, corporate offices, all in the same night. We're talking national press. I want to talk about the why. Let's talk about the how. How are these cells communicating? We've met with everyone face to face. Who's coordinating this? I am. You, Mr. High Profile, Mr. Hammies Jr. Where are these animals going? The weakest link is the people taking care of the animals. Each cell is responsible for taking the animals home. Who's writing the communiques? I've got a small team. I've been working with them for years. Do they know how to write? Can they write full sentences? You realize these actions are going to be represented entirely by the communiques. We've got 35 actions happening at the same time. We get one communique out for that. We can control the message. Do I know these people? Some of them, maybe. How do you know they can be trusted? They don't know each other. They just know me. You've been burned, Charlie. You think it's smart to be the guy that knows everybody and knows everything? I'm not going to talk. Nobody plans to talk. Have you ever even been interrogated? I've never been caught. You're sitting there looking at 40 years in prison. They slide a piece of paper across the table saying sign here and give everyone up and you walk. Whoa, don't get ahead of yourself, all right? That is not gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. You're getting a big head. Don't think I don't see it. All I hear from the kids these days is full native this and Charlie Crane Hill that. Hey, you tell those kids Charlie Crane Hill puts his tights on one pant leg at a time like any other superhero, all right? You used to be cute. Yeah? Well, you used to have some balls. Stop, stop it. Every time another state outlaws cameras in factory farms, they succeed at hiding what they're up to. It's gonna take something like this to get on the mainstream news. You can bet if this is big enough, they have to cover it. They're not gonna talk about the why, only the how. And the how is gonna be exaggerated, distorted, and sensationalized. Uh, at some point, people are going to start asking why we're willing to risk everything for these animals. You've got way too much faith in people, dude. I've got faith in us. I've got faith that we're right. Have you heard of the feral child? That's what I thought. He's been distributing photos and videotapes of his work. There's a chance we can stop this shit, but we have to act now and we have to find out who it is. Now there's a mission for you. The worse it gets, the more feral children we're gonna see. What we're planning is the only way to fight that. People in the movement have to know that there's a lot of us out there. You know my history. You know I'm down. And I like this action, but I don't like the way you're going about it. You're not the one for the job. And who is? Good luck. What's the feral child?
around wandering the street. Holy Jesus. I thought we said no more strays. <laughs> Do you find him covertly hiding from the FBI inside a pumpkin patch? <laughs> I thought you quit. It was a long time ago. Welcome to the edge of the earth, brother. Serious? Yes, I mean, are animals things or are they living entities? Because they can't be both. We build buildings, we create civilizations, and we use animals in the process. Without the human mind, you wouldn't even have the concept of a moral right to talk about. An animal only has one thing, it's life. To take that one thing away, to me, that's a moral obscenity. And the only way around that fact is apathy. If that's what you want for Charlie, then I'd say you're the one who wants to cause him harm. How's it going over there? I'm trying to make a wise man of this stick. You know, a wise man once told me only a fool tries to <laughs> make me out of a stick. <laughs> Have you been doing, like, work work? I've been doing some hunting and gathering, no real work. It's been a lot of relationship making. Right now I know how the whole system works. So I know where the weaknesses are. I know where we can turn things. I've been cutting together videos and sending them to you. You've been getting the videos. I told you we don't allow shit in here. Talking to you, Holmes. You see any other pieces of shit here in the bar? Hello? Keith, can you just leave the man alone for a minute, all right? I'll be back for you, fucker. You okay? Work over KDL? Have you seen my uncle? You know what goes on there over KDL? How they treat you like shit. Apparently better than the animals. I know how they treat the animals. I work with people who want to expose the conditions there. We need help. What kind of help? Did you do the whole, like, hey, I got an alias? James Rollins. James Rollins, how old, born where? James Rollins, 26, born in Milwaukee. Born in Milwaukee, what street? What's your mother's name? <laughs> Come on, dude, yeah. I'm the fucking FBI. Maiden name was Hamilton, changed her name, Madeline Rollins, changed Madeline her name. Madeline Rollins. Both your parents are alive? Yeah. Together? No. No, not together. Was your father gay? No, that that was the big problem. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Green. You're fucked, that's Charlie's favorite color. We knew we had you. No. Daniel, I'm running the risk of my life. The chance of getting it right. I'll slim to none, but I got one. Oh, down, down to the horsey track. We place our wages on that. So be here. We'll see what happens. Run, run, little horsey, ride. She's burning. She's burning. She's burning. That's really it. Not the orange jacket. Let's see what you got. Hi, Race. Oh, you guys already had your shoes off? <laughs> yeah. Maybe you understand you have to have a hand here on this one, right? Sock is in. All right. What's going on here? Mm -hmm. You're taking it home. Come on. All right. There you go. Oh. Uh, 
Oh. I have always been fascinated by your chest hair powder. <laughs> always. <laughs> you like this? You do that again. Do that again. I can't do that again. No, that was amazing. <laughs> I see the tide crashing in on your man cleavage. <laughs> you see like, an owl. Look at the little eyes. And the nipples the little... are eyes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's steal the next hand. No, let's, let's look uh... at your nipples. <laughs> Okay. So this is pretty. This is, this is already pretty ripe. Check. Check. Why are you still in this hand? There we go. All right. Well, what do we got? Unless you've revealed your cards. <laughs> it is on you, mon frere. Mm -hmm. What do you got? What do you got? Hmm? You. No what? Don't do it. Nothing. Oh. Do it. Don't do it. Oh. <laughs> Holland? I figured it would come to this point. What you got, baby? Too sexy for my blood, I fold. All right, let's see him. You just did. The card slim. Three queens, Elizabeth. Ooh. Full house, Doogie Hauser. Oh, <laughs> you <laughs> fucked forever. Card shark. Don't cry. Naked boy. Perfect. I'm done. Oh, really? I am going to bed right after I stick my tongue in your mouth. Mm. <laughs> I miss you terribly. And I will miss you terribly. Give me this. Oh. Good to see you. Good to see you. Behave or don't. Night. Can I have my clothes back? <laughs> okay. Shake in the boy that counts as the boy in the shake. <laughs> and what the fuck is that supposed to mean? It means I missed you. <sighs> I missed you too. I don't think Wyatt would like that. <laughs> <laughs> Wyatt's a good slice. We've got an understanding. To Jane. Yes. Jane. Yeah. All right. As you all know, she has some good news today. Jack Sanders has agreed to all the terms she proposed, all of them. Another festival corporation on board. Oh, baby. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Yes. gets on the Happy Me train, right? Not tonight. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry to rain on your parade. What have you really accomplished? 
Is that making people feel better about imprisoning and killing animals for pleasure and profit? Mm -hmm. As long as they're property, they're going to be exploited. Dennis, shut up. No, 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 he's right. No, he's not right. He's right to be unsatisfied. I think it's a little selfish to want everything or nothing. The animals don't benefit from that. They would prefer to live in slightly better conditions, and they would prefer to be killed in slightly more humane ways. And if that is all we can get right now, I think it's worth it. And you think anyone else will see it that way? <laughs> or do you think they'll go buy their double bacon cheeseburger with a sense of peace, knowing that these animals were treated well? Someone needs to speak out and not just get these petty, you know, legislation upgrades. The only change that has ever been made is when someone spoke up, when someone said it is not right to have slaves. She is speaking up. That's what she's doing. When do you ask for what you want? I can't panic because they need help now. They do need help now. So do something now. Don't I do something doing that something will improve now. their living conditions five years from now, Just ten stop. years from now. This is a party no, for okay. her, all right? No, no, seriously. There is a majority of people who feel it is their right to eat meat. Their biblical right. And we have to talk to them. I, I think the only moral choice is to take the choice away. It's, it's not possible. Dare to dream, Jan. <sighs> How's the piece coming? You want to see? Yeah. Dumb animal. I guess it could be feeling emotions like ours, or it could just be instinctual reactions. Take away language, and all we can do is guess. Hi, Jumper. Hi. Must be nice to have some company through these lonely nights. Shut up. You just have to keep the line moving and sometimes the pigs fall on the floor and that's when you have to do it. George owns the company that employs our friend on the TV here. I've seen people just take a hammer and start hitting them. I've seen pigs with their whole head crushed. Just get thrown inside the dead box and three days later, still alive. We take the water hose and stick it down their throat and blow them up until the potholes pop out. We drown them to death. Then I came to work and there was one pig in the dead box staring at me. My manager asked me to take care of it. And you wanna know what I did? It's called dumping. Picked it up by the legs and smashed it against the cement. My clothes were covered with blood. That's why I came here to talk to you. Because I don't think I can do it anymore. George ordered that they turn the voltage down on the stunner because it tends to ruin the meat and they have to sell it at cut rate for hot dogs. Of course, that leads to the hogs going through the line conscious and all, but George's got confidence in his men to deal with that. If a hog comes out kicking too much, I let it go. I'm not going to take another kick in the face just because old man Masseray wants to keep his line running at a possible level. That hog hits the tub, goes all the way through the scald tank, out to the dehair, and to the dry kill alive. I'll kill him after he's had his hooks off and his hooks cut down from the meat hooks when it's nice and safe. You lied to me. 
Oh, you thought I was gonna use the footage to cut together a piece to send to our congressman? I didn't work at a shit heel bar for three months so you could torture people with this footage. It's not torture, it's an enhanced interrogation technique. <laughs> That's fine. I am forcing empathy upon someone who refuses to experience it. This is a very complicated conversation for the middle of the night. What's going on? Charlie has concerns. Oh, about who, who, ha, uh -huh. Charlie. You <laughs> didn't tell me what you guys were doing. Crane Hill. Have you seen one of these? Like, actually up close? Yeah. Of course you have. So have I. It's a pig sticker. This is how they kill him. Just stick that right into their fucking necks and let them bleed out. You know who's never seen one of these? Until two days ago? George. He's built a multi-million dollar corporation, bought an estate, sent four fat bastard children through Groton and Loomis, takes the two and a half week vacation to Fiji every year, had never fucking seen one of these. This is a guy who spent his entire life putting miles and miles between him and the blood that he spills, and all we're doing is lessening that distance a little bit. You remember that video that you sent us, the one, the one with the Mexican guy who had the big scar from here to here because the pig kicked him when he was trying to slaughter it? Yeah. That was a good look, right? I mean, George could use something like that. Don't you want them to suffer for what they've done? Don't you think that he deserves to feel a little pain in exchange for the suffering he's caused? All in the name of making a buck? Fuck, you know what that man has done. Don't you want him to suffer? Yeah. I do, I want him to suffer. It's a good thing, man. Hello? Colonel Kurtz, huh? Yeah. You chop him up? No. Nope. Flat no machete? Fresh out. Look what they did to me! Look at this! Huh? You see that? You see? I see. Just like I see what you've done. None of it's okay with me. Find a new line of work! He was a motherfucker, Sonia. 
You read the books, watch the videos. It's the kind of shit you wish would happen. They build the cages, we crack them open. That's the way of the world. If we start building the cages, our hearts will die. Where's Ricky at these days? Oh, they've certainly made the highlight. You think they're in on it? I'd recognize your work anyway. She wants a dossier on every one of these creeps. I have to do a few particular Factory farm owners, slaughterhouse owners, breeding facility owners, laboratory owners, USDA supervisors, Congress people, lobbyists, government officials, advertising execs, fast food moguls. It's the very people who pop the most from the suffering and that of over nine billion animals a year. My dad's on this list. Guess your dad's a creep. You know what she's doing? Nope. Don't want to. Trust me? Is love a four-letter word? Don't give Riley any more info. In Civil War? Rogue State, Ricky. Rogue State. Angelincio. How long has it been since you saw Charlie? It's been a while. It doesn't sound like it's good between you two. Is there a reason? Only one that I can think of. I'm an imperialist pig, and he's not. Do you want him to be? Here, take this. What's this? It shoots a stun ray that will incapacitate security guards for about seven minutes. Seriously? No. Captain Jackass, it's a pin. It writes shit. This is our greenhouse. You want to put your hand in manure? No, I think I'll pass. <laughs> it's warm. You can't feel it on the outside. You got to stick your hand inside. I'm not doing it. <laughs> How many actions do we have? A little over 30. Nine. All on the same night, all over the country. But if we really want to make a dent, we're going to need to hit infrastructure. Well, we could climb with the truck out and shut down all the corporate computer system. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> OK, you're really creeping me out. Now. You know, if you interrupt my meditation again, I will open a medieval can of whoop ass on you. Bring it, Casper. My skills are epic. <laughs> Watch my feet. Watch my feet. Stop moving your feet. Your death will be swift and cinematic. Roundhouse. Fall back, grasshopper. Hansen's a vegetarian. So? So what's he doing creating ads for the poultry industry? I don't know. What's the feral child? It's a path we don't want to go down. Ah. You are gonna love this place. Dope. There's probably somebody sleeping in there right now. It's a wonder van. <laughs> Carl, have you had your spanking? Have you today? had your spanking? Because I, I have don't not. You. Come on, oh, come on. Geez. It's 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 a butt, not a testicle. <laughs> Let's go. God, your ass is firm. <laughs> Thank you. What? Are you kidding me? Is that a zipline? Right, you ready you to do, do this, it? Carly, or what? Yeah, you're going first. I was born first. Whoop. Come back strong, come back strong. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, come back strong. All right, my turn, my turn, my turn.
I'm gonna uh, go get some more wood. I'll be right back. Hi, Charlie. You know who that is? It's okay. He needs to talk to you. Are we on a mission here? Are we together? Yes. I've traveled this country the last two years hunting down every animal liberator I could find and putting together the largest coordinated effort this movement's ever seen. I'm not here to chat with my father, okay? Do you know what we're doing tomorrow night? You think he's gonna hop in the car with us? Isn't that what you really want? Fuck, are you fucking crazy? That is the only real way of winning this thing to talk to the other side. He's not, he's not here for a joyride. He doesn't just want to talk. He doesn't want to see how I'm doing. Why is he here? Why? Because he loves you. No, he didn't tell you why he's here. Give me a little credit. I'm surprised you're not in handcuffs right now. Good work. I'll give you credit for that. And Jesus on a pogo stick. Where's Charlie? Gee, Mr. Cranehill, uh, Charlie and I kind of drifted apart after high school. It's good to see you, though, huh? I don't believe you. Really? I was trying so hard. That way. She says you need to talk to me? business. Charlie, what are you doing? Talking to you. I need you to be honest with me right now, okay? Great. Might as well try that. I'm just trying to talk to you, Charlie, that's all. You are talking to me, Dad. Are you this bold native, this terrorist? Is that what they told you? You tell me. Bold Native's not a person, it's an idea. That animals are not property, they're not ours to use. They're an end unto themselves. Their freedom is beautiful and their slavery is a horror. You're gonna hurt somebody someday, Charlie, and that's something that you can't take back. That's not what we do, Dad. Violence isn't gonna get you anywhere. I agree. Then what are you doing this for? Doing what? Burning down buildings and destroying property, for Christ's sake. God. You missed the whole fucking point. You're distracted by the fire. The f Who cares? People care. Who cares? You can't commit violence against property. Okay, isn't that what your whole system's based on? Animals are property, so killing them isn't violence. What? It's processing, or it's rendering, or confinement. Anything to keep from calling it what it really is. Beef, not cow. Pork, not pig. Get it? Poultry, not chicken. Your whole system is a lie. A disgusting, filthy lie. Charlie, listen to me. Listen to me. The federal government is looking for you. Do you know what that means? It means they've been corrupted by agribusiness corporations. No, it means you could go to prison for a fucking long time. Is that what you want? No, Dad. I don't want to go to prison. I can buy you a new identity. We can hide you someplace. <laughs> hide me? Yeah, like, like, I don't know, Mexico maybe. <laughs> Mexico. I'm an American, Dad. Believe it or not, that means something to me. What are you gonna do? It'll be big. Bigger than anything they've seen so far. Could be part of it. Shh. Please, Charlie, come home. Please, son, just come home. Look, you can do anything you want. You can stay up late, play music loud, eat pizza, miss meetings. 
It doesn't matter. Please come home. I need you. Charlie, I miss you. Don't ask me to do something you'd never do, Dad. Come on, Charlie, focus for me. Really, I'm serious. I have a lot of friends who could help. I made a lot of friends over the years, connections, and I've garnered a lot of favors. And all you have to do is be just a little contrite, that's all. Just just say that, you know, you, you know what you were doing was wrong and, 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 and you're sorry for it. And they'll step up to the plate. Then, if you still want to do all you can for the animals, then we'll find a group that does the same thing, only in a legal way. And I'll help you with that, Charlie. I'll help you with it. Can you hold on to this for a second? I'll go with you, if you kill this dog. What the hell's the matter with you? I'm not gonna kill this dog. Why not? I, I thought you'd want to save animals' lives. I saved this dog's life years ago, so I guess it belongs to me, right? You've got no problem buying animal bodies from people who claim to own them. Don't tell me you're too weak to kill one yourself. What's one little dog's life compared to the safety of your own son? I'm really losing my patience here, Charlie. Oh, I'm sorry. Fuck. You didn't mean to tax your patience. If I told you I'd go with you if you ate a steak, you'd sit right down and eat it, right? If it makes you feel better, you can eat the dog after oh, you kill stop it. Stop being a child, will ya? Come on, do it! One quick slash to the throat, a little blood, all your problems are over. Stop it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Stop kill it! Kill the animal! Stop it! They live in unbearable pain and loneliness, just so you can sell their bodies a little bit cheaper. Make a few more cents than the other guy, you evil fucking bastard! Your patience is wearing thin? Well, mine's fucking gone. I'm the most impatient motherfucker you ever met. You think your stinking evil has no impact? Billions of animals a year, they don't matter? Believe me, they do. Now kill the fucking dog, you fucking hypocrite. This is our kingdom's based on. You live without love, Dad. Pretty sweet speech you gave. It was badass. Kill the animal. Kill the animal. You know where I heard it's really nice this time of year? No. Where do you hear it's really nice this time of year? Fucking like Splitsville. Oh, yeah? Here it's not raining dear old dads with control issues. You need to go, I'll understand, but I don't think I can run from this one. I mean, if we leave, he'll definitely flip us. And we can't get far enough in that time. Maybe you can, if I stay here. I'm like a broken record, Charlie. All the way to the end. All the way to the end. All the way to the end. Mm -hmm. All the way to the end. I know. Ugh. <sighs> You just want to know I'm going to be okay, right? Yeah, Charlie. That's all I want. I am. I'm okay. I've never been so totally okay in my life. You got to trust me on this one, Dad. Okay. I 
wanted to thank you. That everything you taught me, I never could have organized something this big. If you can't accept my choices, maybe you can accept my gratitude. I got some pretty heavy stuff that I gotta bring up to the top. Drop the knife. Drop it. I need you to stay free, okay? Drop it. Get on the ground. All right, let's hook them up. What is the nature of your participation in these bold native actions that you're promoting on your website? Aren't you advocating this kind of criminal behavior? I believe in the bold native. I believe in freedom. I believe a case is a case, and no one deserves to be put in one. I would love to be that I am mine, that I'm not willing to sacrifice another living being to one in order to achieve that. So you have to forgive me if I don't recognize someone else's rights to do it. Just for motherfucking hamburger. 35 actions in 35 states, all on the same night. 35 communiques, all issued through the website run by you and your girlfriend. Sounds like a conspiracy. Sounds like you're right in the middle of it. We are just a conduit for information. It's called journalism. Do you go out with them when they do this, Randy? What people are we even fucking talking about? We're kind of fucking talking about Charlie Crane Hill, Randy. Crane fucking... Hill? Crane Hill. Yeah. Crane Hill. Yeah. Nothing. What is the nature of your relationship with Richard Crane Hill? There's no relationship between Mr. Crane Hill and me. That's not what we heard. You heard wrong. What was Charlie Crane Hill doing on your land? Gardening. 
don't know if you noticed you had handcuffs. I did notice that. Ricky's already given us names. Are you really willing to rot in jail while she just rolls on to the next guy? We've already talked to everybody in your community. You may have their back, but they don't have yours. Do you really expect us to believe that you don't know who any of those people are? I know nothing. One, two, three, nothing. My lawyer's on her way. Get the fuck down, Randy! If you punch me, we have a problem. I'm a hemophiliac. I'll bleed internally oh, until I die. I don't give a fuck what you are. I will beat your ass with this fucking table. I don't know what you're talking about. I'll ask you one more time. Ask me twice. So you had plenty of chances. Escape. They said that they were going to tell my parents that I had not escaped the snares of the homosexual lifestyle. Okay. So rather than come out of the closet as a 35-year-old man, you decided to go cross-country joyriding with a self-confessed terrorist? I was scared. I didn't see anything. I just went home. What did Crane Hill whisper to you while he was getting apprehended? He said that they would let him write letters from jail. He told me my parents' address. If you're lying to me, I'll fuck you. And you won't like it. Yeah, I'm sure no one ever has. How long have you been involved with Bold Native? Can I smoke? Sure. Too bad I don't smoke. Hey. Oh. We're not playing here. Okay? I know you want to play games and all that shit. I'll get a judge and jury and they'll play a fucking game with you. Okay? You mother. We take threats against America seriously. Quit fucking with me, kid. Okay. All right? Don't fuck with me. Okay. Quit fucking with me. God Sorry, damn it. Charlie loves America. Okay, so do I. Jesus, I'm hot for America. I want to push America up against the wall, and I want to fuck her senseless. And then I want to give her a bubble bath and feed her some chocolate. Yeah. We go way back, me and America. That's my girl. I got melon. Swamp. Well, I'm not gonna lie. It was a little scary at first. But Tiffany, can I be honest with you? Please, that's why we're here. What was really scary was finding out the truth about how we treat these farm animals. The authorities are keeping the identities of the terrorists secret right now. But can you give us a scoop on who your captors were? You know, this is gonna sound crazy, but I think that they were heroes. And I know that they were against terror of all kinds, especially the terror that we cause animals in these factory farms. I must say, it does sound like you may have been brainwashed. When you witness cruelty, no matter who the victim is, you have to ask yourself, if you can see what's happening, will you turn away and do nothing? Wait a minute, wait a minute. You have kept me on hold now for 20 minutes. I've been watching the news on the attacks. The attacks that happened while my son was in your custody. So obviously, he had no information for you. Well, somebody's got to know where the hell he is. My son is not an enemy combatant. He's an American, goddammit, with rights. Yeah. Your noon appointment is still waiting. I'm right. Send her in. Hello, Mr. Cranhill. Hello. Jane here. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. Thank you. So, hopefully you have had a chance to uh, look at the material we sent. I read it. 
Great, okay. So, our first request is that you consider matching the humane standards as practiced by the other fast food companies that we've been dealing with. The first requirement is that your suppliers provide 72 square inches per laying head. Would that make them happy? Happy. Happy. Isn't that your goal? Did you know that a laying hen, if given a choice, will build a nest rather than eat, even though they haven't had any food in 20 hours? Did you know that? So why don't we provide building material, nesting material for them, and maybe give them access outside so they could dust bathe, give them some semblance of a real, normal life in exchange for what we take away from them? What do you think about that? That would be above and beyond what we're asking for today, but... Uh... I have a question for you. How do you do it? How do you come into offices like this and squabble with people like me over a few extra inches? How is it that you can sit there in your politeness, in your grace, and basically ask people for nothing? How do you do it? How do you beg for little scraps of humanity? I, I think change is change. Challenge me. Tell me what you want. We, um, what do you mean? Tell me exactly what you want from me. I'll do anything you ask. I want you to stop. I want you to stop. I want you to stop killing for money. I want you to stop selling the flesh of animals. I'm going to quit this job. And if anybody asks, I'll tell them exactly why. But that's all I can offer you. I can't change this company. This company would chew me up just like those baby chicks. How do you know all this? I don't know if any of what you do makes sense. I wish it did. Goodbye, Miss Harold.
Stop talking. 